What a long day. I can't wait to drink some wine. Mm. Hopefully there's a new Cars and Zebras video. That would be bomb as f What is that? A truck? This isn't trucks and zebras. It's Cars and Zebras. I want to speak to the manager. 1979 Dodge Lil Red Express Truck. Or pending the literature that you read, sometimes it was simply called the Lil Red Truck. And if you're sophisticated like myself, you love to read. <laughs> By 1979, muscle cars weren't doing so good. The Charger, dead. The Chevelle, dead. The Corvette, well, that thing might as well have been dead because the top engine was only putting out 225 horsepower. Look at it. Makes me sick. And then in stumbled this little monster, which is pure patriotism. When you ordered one of these, it came with a cheeseburger sitting shotgun and a side of coronary artery disease. God damn it, I love America. The Express came with some pretty decent parts. It had an 850 CFM thermoquad carburetor, a police spec intake manifold, dual snorkel air cleaner, super flow heads, and a cam from a 68 344 barrel. Compression ratio is 8.2 to 1, and it was making 225 net horsepower at 3,800 RPM and 295 pound-feet of torque at 3,200 RPM. So this truck definitely had the performance to back up its look, and it just proves the saying that you can't start a fire... Wait, how does that go? You can't start a fire without a spark. This gun's for fire! Even if we're just dancing in the dark. Inside, you'll find a three-speed automatic transmission, and technically it's the torque flight, but in the truck applications, they actually called it a load flight. So I guess you could say that this truck handles a load better than your mom. Standard rear gearing in the Lil Red Express was 355, and of course it came with sure grip. So I guess you could say that surely it will have consistent launches. <laughs> you need to leave. As you can imagine, this truck really isn't the lightest thing at the track. Curb weight was 3,815 pounds. In November of 1977, Hot Rod Magazine tested the prototype Lil Red Express. In the quarter mile, it ran 14.70 seconds at 93 miles per hour. But Dodge knew the heads on the prototype weren't going to pass emissions. So then in June of 1978, Hot Rod tested the actual production vehicle with the Superflow heads, and this time it ran 15.71 seconds at 88.06 miles per hour. I do want to take a minute to be a little bit more serious. I had the opportunity to talk to the owner of this truck, and he's a super cool guy. He informed me that he and his father had been restoring this truck together, and unfortunately his dad passed before they could finish it. He then later found a bucket list that his father had put together of all the things he wanted to do with this truck, and so now the son is trying to complete all of them in honor of his dad. Things like be in a car show, win an award, and then what brings us to today at Little Stanton, Michigan, participate in a drag race event. I just wanted to say that's absolutely awesome, and I know your dad's looking down, and he's proud of what you've done. With that said, let's check out the other vehicle. 1965 Ford Galaxy 500 XL. And this thing, in fact, is rather extra large, and I like that. The 65 Ford Galaxy had engines available from a 246 cylinder all the way to the fire-breathing 427. This car has a 390 cubic inch V8, putting it nicely in the middle, just like Goldilocks before she was ferociously devoured by bears in a tag team fashion. <laughs> That 390 V8 had a compression ratio of 10.1 to 1, and it was rated 300 horsepower at 4,600 RPM and 427 pound-feet of torque at 2,800 RPM. Inside that absolutely beautiful interior, you will find a four-speed manual transmission, and you know that stick is getting more action than Johnny Sins. Out back, a set of 325 gears were standard from the factory in... I'd like to express how that makes me feel through a monologue as I'm trying to become an actor, so can we get the music, please? Thank you, thank you. Why? Why? And scene. Thank you, thank you. Luckily, this car has the optional 389 rear gears, and that should help out quite a bit. 
The weight of this behemoth is substantial with driver. It's coming in at 4,250 pounds, but let's see what it can do on the drag strip. And in the first round, it's the Ford taking the win, running 15.57 seconds at 88.86 miles per hour. In the other lane, the Little Red Express ran 16.64 seconds at 81.99 miles per hour. Let's see what happens in round two. Ford 81.99. And in the second round, it's the Lil Red Express taking home the win. Even though the Galaxy had a slightly quicker ET of 15.70 seconds at 86.83 miles per hour, the Dodge had a much better reaction time, and as you saw, they were able to cross the finish line first, running 16.17 seconds at 86.41 miles per hour. With this best of three tied one all, let's check out that final round. Up next, 65 gallons. Anyway, the wind does go to the four fifteen seventy eight and eighty nine, even to a fifty. And in the final round, the Lil Red Express was able to break into the 15s, running 15.98 seconds at 88.20 miles per hour, but it wasn't quite enough, and the Ford takes home the win, running 15.78 seconds at 89 miles per hour. Thanks to both of the owners for bringing out these cars, it was absolutely awesome seeing them on the drag strip. I'll catch you guys at the next one.